Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Kep and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 42 of our Darkness Falls series. First things first, I gathered up a whole bunch of stuff that I either had laying around or stuff that I could combine to make it a little bit better. I'm going back over here to see Dr. Donna. We're going to sell everything that we have here and hopefully that gives us enough to be able to buy that crucible before she resets tomorrow. Now, I'm sure this late in the game, I could probably find one in a few different spots. Whoa, careful. A little frame drop there. But I need to have one. If I'm going to have a chance of upgrading anything in my horde base to steel, like the bars like I would mentioned last time, I need to be able to have a crucible so I can make some more steel. Or I'm going to use all the supplies I have to upgrade it the first time and then the first horde that's going to come around, they're going to get absolutely knackered and then I am not going to be able to upgrade them anymore or repair them I mean, anymore. It's going to be really bad business for Cap. So, we're on day 42, so we got plenty of time before the next Horde Knight shows up. Fortunately for me, we're going to get the Crucible. Then what I'm thinking about doing is kind of mixing it up a little bit for a day or two. Um, what I mean by not mixing it up, because it's stuff I've done prior to, but what I mean is, like, go do a treasure dig-up quest, basically. Go do one of those, because it's good for Cashola. And then do some missions for Trader Joel over there, because we need to get our ranking up with him. We can do some missions, usually some quick clears or some grabs, some stuff. You're looking kind of rough. I'm looking awesome, and you know it. You and that way we can bit, make some more you? money. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I need you to buy all this for me. Portfolio. And how much is your crucible? 15. All right, so I need 1,500 monies. Okay, she didn't want to buy my last wrench, but that took us up high enough, and we leveled up. Ta-da! Level 51, baby. Okay, we're buying ourselves a crucible. We have one. Get feeling better. I'm feeling fantastic. Now i got a crucible. Usually, if I ever find one, those of you who have been around for a long time on this channel, you know that the Crucible is the holy grail for me. It always has been, except for in the joke mod, uh, because the Crucible and the cooking pot have been inter have been swapped, basically. So I got, you know, tons of Crucibles there. They were just like falling out of the chest. I had so many of them. But that's because it's a joke mod, and that mod is designed to just mess with you. Anyway, so we finally have one. Usually we're into the day 50 range when we finally do find one. Uh, or if we get to the point where we actually get the schematic where we can make one. That's typically what our MO is when playing this game. So to have one by 42, even if I did buy it, I'd say we're still ahead of the curve. What do you think? So some of you have been around for a while. You know, you know the... Back in the original Lone Survivor series, back in Alpha 18, I think it was, I even, you know, climbed to the highest mountain in the land and sacrificed things to the gaming gods in hopes of getting one, and it didn't really help out at all. So at least spending a little bit of cash oil is good, but we're borderline broke since we just spent a decent chunk. That was a nice little power slide. I'm going to run in here and throw this into our advanced forge. Put you right up in here. Hang on. Turn you off. Uh, cancel you real quick. Now put you up here. Boom. Now we can go back to... Oh, okay, so you were... Uh, okay, there we go. I had started making some cement last night. Concrete mix. I can make... Oh, ducks. I don't have any rocks in me. I turned it all into cement with a little bit that I did go ahead and smelt down a little bit. Okay, we're down to 4,700 monies. Let's see. Ammo's good. Food's good. Didn't I make something last night? Yes. I made some more steak and taters so I could stack that up a little bit. Keep it nice and topped off. Uh, how about real quick? We'll have a grilled yucca. That'll get it up just a tiny little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a little bit of work for Trader Joel and see if we can't get back up to the next faction for to the next tier. I should say, not next faction. The next tier, because it's a good way to make some money too, and with our loot stage being higher now, maybe when we get to some of the main loot for some of this, we can start getting some better stuff. Now, I'm not bringing the dirt bike with me over here because... <laughs> It's a little dangerous. It's unnecessarily fast, especially just going for this back and forth here. So I might like to mix it up. But let's get over and see what this trader dude has to offer as far as jobs go. And see if there's anything kind of close by. It would be great if, like, every day I could do one treasure hunting dig quest and one quest for a trader dude. Just to kind of move things along, get a bunch of extra money, get some supplies. Because the dig quest... The treasure quests are a really good way to get like ammo and ammo supplies. And as we saw in the last one, at least a decent chunk of change. And since I need to have like $80,000 for the master master book, that's uh, kind of where I need. Oh, also what I was looking at last time, I was trying to figure out. I think the security class 
would be a good one to have that on there because it gets the tactical, the advanced tactical rig so I can carry more. Titanium club, that would be great. Advanced brass catcher gives you 100% chance of getting shells, empty shell cartridges after you fire it. And it increases all of your automatic tiers and so all our weapons and armor there. Now, I currently can make a brass catcher. I was looking at this. And it takes a lot of generic schematics that I don't have a lot of. I think I have exactly 15. But this gives you a 50% chance of reclaiming bullet casings when you're making or when you shoot bullets. So it'd be nice to be able to have the advanced one just because it gives you 100% chance. You need assistance. I need a job. Do you have... Okay, no other work. No other recipes. I check every time I come over here just to see here. Okay, there's a fetch. That's not too far from here. Mason's barn. And a fetch to clear. That's a clear. That's a clear. This one's not too far. Well, Mason's you me. barn. You're the man. I am the man. I know. Where are you in regards to my base? Right up here, just in a little barn. This one may be the one that you go in the barn and you come back out another side. I don't know. It's just a fetch. So technically, what I could do is run in, grab the case, run back out, and call it good. Now, of course, we'd be missing all the good extra juicy loots from whatever the main loot is. I didn't get my double click in there. But we could do that if I was just trying to very quickly uh, complete some of these quests. But I'm really doing it for the loot, for the cash, for the experience. And I don't... Oh, hang on. Um, um, I'm, 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 hang on. It's mod... It, which freaking class is it here i can't remember which class is it that gives you better mods rad remover mod there it is okay so science crafting that's what i need to get science crafting right here so i could put one into here that'll decrease crafting time by 20 percent, which is good junk drone and it's okay rocket launcher flamethrower robotic drones and that's pretty good too plus i'm gonna do it so now i should be able to craft well, not yet, um, but it's it's moving close to that to be able to get like the rad remover mod, the radiation boots and all this stuff I need to get to level five as well um, before we can ever have an attempt to go over there. So that's where I was going to put that skill point to begin with is get that to level five. And it just overall helps out with better things. I don't know if I'll ever try to make a junk mod in this. It is a bit sketchy. I like having it for basically carrying around on my first aid stuff. That's more or less what I use it for is first aid or if I just got like uber chunky and I'm just a little behind, then I'll uh, throw some stuff in there. Whoa, kind of spinning around too far. Okay, let's see. Is everything reloaded? Looks like it. Knife is nice and reloaded. Got a cornfield here. We could. Oh, I know this. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah. Let's go ahead and wake up. This is the barn that's typically right across the way. Whoa. Got a little, couple frame drops there. Getting some lag. How about no, Scott? Look what you did. Look what you did. We got an abrasion. Did you see that, Kyle? What an idiot. That, that was an idiot on my my bad. My bad. Let me go ahead and use you. Fix that uh, abrasion. Oh, what an idiot. Hey, there's a um, damaged me. Can I take you with me or take you apart or anything? I'll take the gas, leave the bones behind. Can I? If I just rip you apart with this, what do I get for you? Oh, parts and stuff. Got an engine. Nice. I'll go ahead and take that. All those parts are good to have. Sweet. Cool. And, oh, hey, they replaced the engine or the bike with that. There should be some pigs over. Anyway, this is the farm that's across the street from the farmhouse in Navisgain, which if you've really ever watched me play before it has always been my favorite poi in the game can i search you all right let's try this again but y'all need to just back all the way up okay keep you on that side of the fence nope you can shove all the way off Ooh. Where'd you go? Oh, nice. You ran around the fence. Hey, kudos to you for being slightly smarter than the other two. Feel kind of bad about your arm there. It's kind of not supposed to bend that way, huh? You all right? Looks like you took a little bit of a fall. Even your cleats are radiated. All right, let's get all this reloaded. There's not a lot in here as far as, like, bad people. Behind that little wall right there, there's a few people. See? There's big old Edgar. This won't take him out. This will. Bonk! Charlie Daniels! You can stay down, sir. You can stay down. I said stay down. Thank you. Did Edgar bring me anything good? 
Uh, nice, that's not bad. Ammo, some red tea, some a little bit of cash. Nice. That's actually pretty good loot. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so we should have... I thought there was an ammo pile in here. Obviously, I'm wrong, or, you know, we'd be seeing it right now, but I thought there was. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll take... I'll leave the feathers behind. I don't need those. I have been looking into what it would take to make a better bow, because I'm still rocking this old wooden bow here. I don't have the skill in anything. Let me show you real quick. Just bod. That's not what I'm looking for. Bow. Okay, so, for like an iron crossbow, I can make them. But an iron crossbow is not what you need to be able to shoot like those titanium arrows that I have over there. So, in order to be able to make a titanium crossbow, I have to get my bow crafting all the way up or master survivalist. So, I have some titanium bolts that I've just found. I don't even remember where we got those, but I have them. Just can't use them yet. Okay, if I recall, there's somebody in there. There's a couple zombies upstairs. I got pigs out there. All right, come on out. Where are you is? Charlie? You alright? Did you just like run off the top there? It wasn't time for you to wake up, sir. You can stay down. There's generally, I think there's like one more right up top there. You get them to run across that little platform and you can knock them off. Actually, that looks like... Is that a... Hang on. That might be... I was trying to see if that's the edge of a zombie, but can't really tell. No, I don't think it is. Okay, no big deal. This POI is super duper simple, easy, fast to run through. I will go ahead and grab what's all in here because it's mine. Might as well. Could use the extra nitrate. Coal is what we need the most of, really, if we're going to be able to make our own gunpowder. But we, for some reason, we can't find as much coal. Easiest way to find it's in, like, fireplaces and stuff. And we just haven't found very many. Sure, I'll take your one pipe. Your little bit of wood. Take you for a little bit of clay. I don't remember if there... I don't think there's any zombies on this level. I think there, if there's any ones left, it's right up there where the main loot is, I believe. It's been a minute since I've been in here. Plus, I don't know if perchance any of the loot spawns have changed from inside here. Uh, as far as like their locations and stuff. I don't know if they have or not. I don't think they have, but that don't mean anything. Let's see if we can reach this purse right here. Give me your money. Give it, There we go. That's not even very much money. Ten whole cents, huh? All right, well, let's see. Yep, okay, so there's one there. Nobody on this side. This ain't going to kill her at all, but we can at least annoy her just a little bit. Turn her into a... <laughs> or we can miss entirely. We aimed a little too high. There we go. Turned her into a narwhal. Come here. Right down the middle. And you're down. I don't even feel bad. Make sure nobody's coming up behind me. Actually, I think there's usually a bag. Well, the bag is usually right over here. Grab what we need. Ta-da! And sometimes there's something back there, too. All right, we're going to go for main loots here. Not too worried about the rest of it. Money! Got one crate there. Ammo here with some 7.62. Nice, that's what I need. First aid's always good, considering how I play. That's good stuff. See, I can scrap you and scrap you. Military leg armor, that might be better than what I have. I don't know what I... I know I'm wearing it, but I don't know what it is. Sniper rifle and a shotgun choke mod. Bandolier mod I can sell. Scrap you, can sell that. That's good stuff. That's that's good stuff. Now, I don't know if it's better than what I have. We'll see in just a second. Uh, let's see, scrap you and some more cement is okay. All right, let's check real quick and see if it's better than what we have. We're wearing iron gloves. Okay, so military leg armor, and we just picked up some this. That's definitely better. I can combine the two when I get home, probably beef it up just a little bit. But for the moment, I can go ahead and slap it on here. Military gloves, I was originally wearing some of these instead of the iron gloves, but now that I found these, these... These are heavy armor, so I get the mobility penalty and the noise increase. These, I don't get the mobility pro uh, thing. It's still got a noise increase, but it's not as bad. So I may have to switch that. Shotgun choke mod. Can I? Do I have a slot for that? Put that on here. Because the choke mod will tighten it up a little bit. So maybe, just maybe, I miss a few less shots. Maybe. We're being a little bit optimistic, aren't we? And then a sniper rifle. I wonder if that's any... 73.7 on the ranged. And, okay, so our Winchester is definitely better. We'll sell that. And then we'll sell that and that and that. And Okay, that's good stuff. Got what we need. 
Let's see, I can make this fall here and then this fall here and we're good to go. Nice. Easy peasy. I like these quick, fast, and easy ones here. I could have sworn that my tier level with this trader was already higher than that because the first, if you remember, the first tier he sent us to was the um, Trader Gens that's right over around the corner here that's a fake trader, which it shouldn't have done that. I guess that was just a glitch. Then the second one he sent me to, I after we finished that one, then with Trader 2, I thought we finished one, and then he sent me to the Trader that's down the way, Trader Wrecked. But then, now that I'm actually saying this out loud, I'm kind of remembering that we just found Trader Wrecked, and there's an, also a fake Trader Joel over there. We found a whole bunch of traders in this world so far, so I don't necessarily know. I don't know. Anyway, we uh, we definitely could stand to get it to level 3 because we get the extra cash for it, we get the extra supplies for it. You know, get some experience. You can see we're already a third of the way to the next level there, so that's good. Sub, dude. Now we're welcome, survivor. Now we're welcome, survivor. Look around. Yeah, sure. Okay, so apple pie kind of seems like really the only thing you have that would be useful. Twenty eight hundred experience, six hundred. So we got about seven hundred and eighty or so dukes for that. We're gonna take your apple pie. Okay, now, let me sell a couple things to you. To you as well. All right, so we didn't get to sell a lot to them. Let me see. This one's an infested clear. I don't really want to do an infest. I'm just not in the mood. A clear the goldsmith residence. Friend, I swear, you. I'm pretty sure we I did this one already. This for just anyone. You no do too. Thinking. This one's way up here. I'm pretty sure we already did this one because it's right down the street from the CDC, which is a great place to get nitrate, which at the time is where we were low ones. We're the reason why we went up there. Um, but we have enough nitrate now. I need, I need to be able to get some coal then we can use the nitrate and coal to turn that into a, just a stupid amount of gunpowder okay real quick i'm gonna run by the house real fast drop off the stuff that i do have i don't want to get over here and hang on a second weakened armor oh i need to repair my armor too okay so we'll do that while we're over here too and then we can head over and do this now me go ahead and see if we can lock down a treasure at least a location today and maybe we can do that because wherever we're going to do this next mission it's not going to take us as long so uh, we'll come over and get all this started and then figure out which one we want to do next. Not too bad. Red Sarah's treasure map, it's right up here and then we can bounce over there and get there. Let's go do that real quick. I did put my new military gloves on and I used the old military pants that I did have to repair or to repair. It didn't let me upgrade the ones that I already had, but at least the ones I already have are topped off. And the little weakness notification I had was because my helmet had gotten hit a couple times and the durability was a little bit low a repair kit on that and call it good so we're gonna go do the dig quest first see if we can get some good ammo for that see if we can get some good money for that that'd just be great shouldn't take us that long to do it the last couple ones we've done should be okay that way worst case scenario if i finish this we get over and we're getting ready to do the other tier two quest clear and it starts getting close to the end of the night if things are just bad everything's running we're at least indoors and we can kind of camp out there if we have to or, you know, sneak over to our base and stuff. But it's better than being out in the middle of the woods, digging a hole in the middle of the night. Everything come running at you and you get trapped over here. It's not a good time. It's not a good time at all. So we'll come over and get all this digging over here done. Hopefully we'll be able to find it real quick. I don't have any more explosives, so we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, so we're going to do it like we always do. Throw a couple... Uh, couple frames down just to kind of mark off where the edge of this bad boy is doesn't necessarily matter if it's east south west exactly just kind of close by just so when it moves i can tell which direction it's going basically okay all right let's uh chop away what was it is it seven blocks at the very beginning to get it to shrink down then we can see which direction we need to go okay it's definitely not seven it's got to be closer to 10 okay so you stayed the same you're relatively close it moved away from you and away from you so it looks like it's by default it's moving towards that direction okay so we're going to start from this corner hey what's up Brittany? what's you doing come over to see how do you want to dig a hole with me we don't need a hoe to dig over here we need a shovel oh hail to the no that just those people just randomly showed up here i almost ran into the hole with me that ain't cool that's a full-on wandering horde. What is this? Oh, it's vomit. Yeah, that's a full wandering horde side to run by. We're not dealing with any of that. I, you can get away from this sort of... Nah, I'm not in the mood. Not in the mood. 
Y'all can just run on wherever you want to. I'm just going to let you guys continue to roam, give you a chance to get away from me. And you know what's strange is that absolutely spawned them in near where I was at. And I know that for a fact because every couple of moments I would poke my head out and see where... Uh, to see if there was anything out there. And I routinely looked, there was nothing there. So it absolutely spawned them in right on top of me. And that's just the way the game works. I'm not faulting anybody. It's just how it happens sometimes. We give them a chance to just keep on keeping on. I could run over some of them with my bike, but the way they change stuff in this mod, or in Alpha 21, it would end up doing more damage than good. Okay, I just need to get over here a little bit, see if they're all hanging around right over there. Of course they are. All right, well, let's, uh, let's deal with one at a time here. Oh, what the hell? There was a... No! Okay. Okay, that ain't cool. When I got off the bike, uh, I was trying to switch weapons when I got off the bike, and it wasn't working. It, it wouldn't let me switch. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. Now we got the old infection. We got a... Is that just a sprain? Oh, we got a bunch of things. Yeah, we got a sprained arm. Do I still have... No, of course I don't have that splint. Well, that's just ducky. What do I need to make a splint from where I'm at? Cloth, wood, and plant. I don't have any of that here. Uh, let's see. I think... Hang on. We may be able to... We might be able to do it like this here. You get a bunch of cotton. We can turn this into cloth. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Field dressing while I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Hell, do you have any honey? Uh, no, that could be kind of useful, though. All right, well, let me run around and grab some more cotton. We're going to make some homemade cloth here, basically, the old-fashioned way. All right, now we can make ourselves a splint, and now we can use a splint. And boom, now our sprain is taken care of. Should be a little bit better. We can deal with the infection as we get a little bit closer. Great! That's how I was hoping today would go. Exactly like that. All right, see Big Beefer. I better be leaving my bike alone, too. It's all nice and foggy and dark, so I can't really see anything. I guess we're going to have to take over these idiots. Because they are uh, hanging out right over next... Look, they're all up over there where I was doing the treasure hunting. Okay, here we go. What's up, dude? You weren't even part of that horde. Oh, also, because I forgot to mention here, I did download the mod that makes um, loot bags stick around a little bit longer. So that way, especially during the horde nights, because I think by default they only have like a five minute timer. And so by default, the stuff that drops really early on during the horde night, by the time you actually finish killing everything and you get down, there's stuff starting to despawn and it's kind of annoying. It's just kind of annoying. You know what I mean? All right, let's do this again. Come here, Kyle. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your help. Okay. Uh, we got a spanner. Ratchet and some 44 ammo. All right, we cool? Big Frank's like, wait for me. I want to play. Oh, I think Frank went down. Oh, okay, he's not down. Now he's down. Okay, are we cool for a second so I can finish digging this hole? Yeah, okay, so treasure maps, uh, yeah, treasure maps don't call in hordes like they do during the dig quests, but you can still obviously get a random horde to show up, which is not cool at all. Okay, well, let's finish digging this hole out here. We're going to finish this off. There it is, finally. That one took a while longer than I would really hope for it to. There we go. It's going to be right, uh, excuse me, am I in your way there? Let's see what we got here. That's not a huge stack of cash. That's a decent steel club, some ammo. 4,800 monies. Okay, that's not terrible. I don't know if that's as much as we got last time or not. That takes us, takes us back up to 10. That's not bad. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. Splint's doing well. Infection's doing great. I'm doing it. Oh, crap. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. This may be stupid, but we're going to do it anyway. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Later, losers. Appreciate you dropping some loot. I saw a hammer in there. I didn't even get to look. I just opened the bag and took it real quick. <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm going home. Actually, I need to go change my thingamajig over here. The hell was that sound? Oh, it's a wasp. Okay. God, it sounded like a... How many people are old enough to know what a cassette tape is and know what the sound of it when you're 
uh, cassette deck eats the tape. That's kind of what that sounded like. You know what I mean? It's totally what that sounded like over here. Uh, so this is just a clear. We should be able to run in, just beat down some zombies real fast. Yeah. I, I would like that to be the case. We'll see exactly how fast it happens or not. It's not a big house. We should be able to get in and out of there relatively quickly if we don't slow down and if we don't do dumb things. Perk you right here. What's up, my dude? You just got shiveled. Cool. All right, let's check the mailbox. See if you got... Oh, nice. We can scrap you down at least. What did I get? I got some light bulbs. I just sold a stack of those. Those actually work pretty good. Ammo's good. A little bit of money. Some chetties. More ammo. That steel club's not bad. 33 versus 27. So we could stack that one up. Actually, be pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. I did repair it because it's just a scrap or it's just a steel club and I had the stuff on there to repair it, real repair kit, but it did drop it down by to the same level, but it's still better than what I had. So that's cool. That's cool. Uh, where's it? Oh, here it is. We'll double loot the mailbox. Let's do that real fast. Make sure our bike's not within a little bit of extra paper. Okay. Let's get inside and whoop some A real quick. Can I open you? I can. All right, come here, ma'am. No, I she did a full-on backflip, and you brought me some loot. Okay, what's up, Brucey boy? You didn't backflip like the last one, and you didn't bring any loot with you. That's just kind of rude. Okay, you're locked. Okay, we're going to run through this as quick as possible, because it's just a clear. So if we can wake everything up, kill everything that moves. What's up, lady? Loop swoop and pull. All right, lead y'all back outside. Come to me. Somebody else outside with you? Uh, just you. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Power swings using all that stamina. Okay, we're not playing entirely crazy. Plus, I get the little bit of a boost from killing something. Stamina boost, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, we're going to get main loot. We're going to get zombies so we can get this place cleared. Be done, skis. Uh, we'll search the laundry basket, because sometimes you can find stuff and things. Not often, apparently, but sometimes. Okay, zombies. Yep, nope, not going down there, yep. Come on out. Oh, okay, you're a meanie. We're going to go ahead and lead you back this direction so I can switch guns. Come on. Bring it on, what you got? Which way are you going? There you are. You take the scenic route? Headshot. Okay, I thought I heard somebody else down here with you. Where'd they go? You trying to drop me off down there? Wait, isn't there a... Isn't there a baddie down there? Did you make me any coffee? No, you didn't. Because you suck. Go ahead and eat some taters real quick. I'm not going to bother... Uh, yep, yeah, not, not going to bother searching all the rest. Okay, I think... That, oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's not good. Okay, as long as that's the as long as that's the biggest issue here is just falling into the water, I'm fine with that. Hey, did you have any good trash with you? Okay, zombies can swim, so uh, well I can swim too. But okay, how do we get out of here? I'm gonna run through the tunnel. You are wet. No, no. Excuse me, sir. Here, tell you what. How about we'll just save a bullet, wooden chest with a little bit of iron. Some aloe seeds. Okie dokie. We're back. Did you miss us? Let's try not to fall on the floor again, shall we? Okay, so this is still a clear. We got we got a little bit of time before everything starts running. We're okay. Wake everything up. You're a carcass. How does that make you feel to be called just a carcass, huh? Does it make you feel bad? Don't need you blowing up. Let's see if you brought me anything good. Oh, nice. More green key cards. I don't think I've had to use any green cards yet, but green key cards, but it's nice to know that they're there, I guess. Bookshelf with a uh, vehicle for dumb shits. Already have. Okay. Check this random bathroom. Hey, what's up? Um, no, ma'am. Great. Did you see that? You brought in a white. Reload faster. Hang on just a sec. Gotta reload. 
I need some vitamins. Hey, do you have any vitamins in here? This is a good place to find some first aid, right? Sure, I'll take it. Any, any of y'all bring any vitamins with you? We got the old fatigues. Got anything up here with you? There was a set of stairs going down over there that'd take me to something useful. Um, sure, I'll take that. We are, let's see, we got the fatigue. Okay, so we just need vitamins for that. No big deal. Check to make sure I didn't miss anything in these other rooms real fast. Anybody? Backpack with a crappy t-shirt. It's not too bad. The, those crappy t-shirts aren't actually terrible when it comes to like um, temperature resistance. Wait, where was that? Oh, we found out that's what it was. It was a ladder. Okay, it wasn't a hole in the floor. Hey, what's up, Carl? Go ahead. Hey, Gary. We're in a bad spot here. Hang on, I gotta reload. Stop hitting me, you bunch of morons. All right, we'll go ahead and use another one of these because y'all keep slapping me. And I don't like it. Let's see if Carl brought me anything good. Ah, eh, some ammo. Some 44 coil rounds, that'd be great. Okay, we completed this quest. Hey, um, do you have any... There we go, vitamins, that's what I needed. I'll get rid of the old fatigues over there. Boom, skis. now we can move at normal speed. Check our ammo, Shh. that's good. I'm just scrapping you because I don't need you. Food, I can't eat you, I'll get the poops. Even though I just ate the vitamins, you can still get the Trotskys from that. Cool. Hey, more vitamins, and a beaker, sweet. I'm pretty sure I have a beaker at the house, but you can always have a couple extras. And archery notes. You know what? I should probably go ahead and use you. I don't think my archery skill is up very high. Well, that's in the wrong spot to look. Archery, 21. That's definitely a little low. Let's see if there's anything in here. One rag. Woo! Okie dokie. This place is clear. We got the main loot. Wasn't bad, wasn't bad. Let's get up out of here. Be good, sweet, cool. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head home. Thought I would, wait, is this the, is this the fake trader? This is Jen's, right? Yeah, this was the fake trader. This is the first place he sent us to um, when we, you know, ran in there thinking it was all gravy and it was not gravy at all. So we're gonna run home and we'll be done for the night. I think I kind of want to go do the rocket launch places right over there. I've wanted to do that since we first saw it. Need to get all of my afflictions healed and we'd be good to go. See what I want to spend my extra skill point. I might put it back into the science one here. I need to be able to get to the next level of mods. That's the one of the first things I need to get up to here. So I'll reevaluate. I might be close to... I don't know if I have one skill point or two. It don't matter. What's up, you bunch of wieners? I'm gonna go the long way here, so maybe you'll lose interest and you won't meet me at my house, and I can just hang out in the quiet. Cool, all right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already, so don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.